like such a bad morning and now this is just I don't know why I'm so emotional right now I just feel like everything is going to shit Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is Preeti, and I am in Negombo. Um, it is actually still my day zero over here. I literally arrived this morning, and uh, I had my tuk-tuk driving lesson, and I made my way to a hotel in Negombo itself. And I'm going diving tomorrow. After doing my certification in Pondi, um, I've just gone diving like very few places, and like a big part of coming to Sri Lanka for me was to explore the dive sites here. And Negombo has some really, really nice. Rex of its course it has some really great marine life and i'm here at sri lanka diving tours with feli he's helping me kit up for tomorrow's dives uh, we usually always do this one day before the actual dive so that everything is in place nothing is missed out and that's what we're doing tonight that's my weight belt that's being sorted out this is my wet suit and i have my tanks and everything set up already and i'm so excited to be diving tomorrow we're going on two dives I cannot wait to be back in the ocean again. guys or rather as the rooster did it <laughs> i am at the diving center sri lanka diving tours it is technically my day one sri lanka in negombo and i am going for two dives today the first one's going to be a shallow dive with 14 meters because there are two others joining who are also open water certified um, advanced certified but like a lot of us i mean they haven't been in the water for a while and even i haven't been in the bottom since, since october uh so it might be a good idea to just get familiarized with being back in the ocean second one's going to be a fun one there are a lot of wrecks in colombo and negombo and we're going to be exploring a wreck site as well today which is was which is something that i'm so excited for because i remember my first dive in bali was a wreck dive and uh, it should be fun we got into two boats and hit the extremely choppy waters little did i know what would happen next getting the hang of the tuk tuk uh, that's why i'm not shooting while i'm in it but once i get the hang of it i will definitely be showing you everything like how it works and all right now i'm just focusing on driving so i park here in front of this restaurant called shah bojanalaya which is a very local sri lankan place that darren told me about because i wanted to eat like local food so i come here and i just ask them to kind of watch over the tuk tuk and apparently the locals here do that just totally do it I haven't really had the best day today. Um, like I went diving in the morning and I couldn't dive. Like I just I hyperventilated when I was in the water and like I'm feeling so bad because I'm a certified diver and I have been diving before. And I'm so sort of first. So I just chose not to do it because like the second one because it was a deep dive and I couldn't even do like a shallow dive properly. So I'm just feeling so miserable that I missed out on an opportunity to see a wreck. But uh, maybe another time, uh, maybe by the end of this trip, I don't know. Let's see. But like right now, I'm just so sad about this, and I'm actually rethinking this whole trip. But 
we not get into that um we are uh, now so i now i'm in a restaurant sorry i got a little distracted because this amazing chili thingy has come but yeah, i'll show you um i'm at a restaurant and this was recommended to me locally and i see a lot of locals over here and i've gone ahead and ordered a potu uh maybe this will do something to lift my spirits a little i don't know i'm just going to put it down to extreme tiredness because i've not slept much i've been very stressed and uh, that's probably it yeah so anyway maybe the next few days will be better i'm just going to stay focused on what i'm here to do and see if it gets better from here chili oil that you get for like asian cooking so it'll like that let's try it mm. mm. it's like a little sweet oh my god this is amazing oh my god mm. Mm. i couldn't even finish half so taken it away as a parcel and uh, oh fuck it's raining I don't want to oh I don't want to drive in the rain man oh I really really don't want to drive in the rain like I genuinely don't want to I had such a bad morning and now this is just I don't know why I'm so emotional right now I just feel like everything is going to shit I mean, I know I can drive this truck, but I have driven my car in heavy rains, like torrential rains before. I just don't want to do it right now in a different country when everything is new to me and I've not gotten the hang of the truck just yet. So I'm just gonna wait for a bit. Maybe it's just like a passing cloud. I hope that's what it is, and I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna drive. I have a long drive ahead of me. So yeah, wish me luck. Seems to have reduced a little, so maybe I'll try driving slowly. Yeah. So keeping in trend with the absolute shitty day that I'm having today, uh, the rain has not ceased. In fact, it's gotten worse. This is like Bombay in peak July. And uh, if we all know about Bombay in peak July, the one thing we know is that it is not good. It is hours and hours of flooding. It is not being able to get home, which is exactly what has happened to me today. So I have checked into a hotel here in Negombo itself. I'm going to be spending another night here. Um, this was unplanned, and I know these things happen when you're traveling, but it's hard not to feel bummed about it. But uh, okay, I'm in a really nice place. It's a hotel called Hotel Seco. and it is in uh, it's it's like 500 meters from the market area and also really close to the beach not that i'm going to be able to go <laughs> if the rain continues like this but uh, yeah it's pretty fancy <sighs> i think i wanted to treat myself a little i'll just show you the place so i love those wall accents yeah my chappals are lying in there because i had to kind of wash my feet but uh, i'm going to be taking a bath and a shower tomorrow yeah for sure Yep, this is where I'm at for the rest of the day. If only I could actually use this balcony. weather hasn't particularly improved as such but at least it has stopped pouring uh, so i'm going to take that as a good sign and head to colombo in my little boat and 
and uh, that's my piece. Let's just hope it gets better from here on. I really don't want to spend time in a rainy, rainy south. That was the very reason I came here in this season to avoid the rain. But these are things that you cannot control. But I'm leaving the Gombo today, hopefully, finally, and I'm heading down south. Let's hope this is a good one. So there are two routes to go from uh, from Negombo to Colombo. One is through the city and one is from the coast. And if you're new to driving a tuk tuk, I would genuinely suggest the coastal road because driving in the city can be a little chaotic. And also the coastal road is like hella beautiful. I'm gonna try and show you a few snippets beach beach me. Ah, uh, tomorrow onwards, I'm just or like later today onwards, I'm just going to be mounting the GoPro with the front tire or something so that you at least get to see some of these views. Um. Yeah, I'm finally in the hang of this, and it's really exciting. And I'm just glad today's trip is a little better than the last two days. So I made it to my hostel, which is in Mount Lavinia, which is in the southernmost part of Colombo. It is not, I mean, obviously, it's not in the city center. But the reason I picked it is because tomorrow I have to go further south to Hikaduwa, and I wanted to cover as much distance as possible today, uh, because tomorrow is going to be like a six-hour journey or so, and I didn't want to kind of make it through city traffic tomorrow. Uh, kind of getting the hang of this tuk tuk now, and uh, like while it's still a little stressful driving in the city, it might be like. A little easier when I'm going south, you know, along the coastal road. But for now, I'm back in my tuk-tuk. I am a little tired, honestly. Like it'd be nice to share this experience with someone. But uh, I'm gonna head to Colombo now and just go around the city a little bit for a couple of hours, and then head back here. So yeah, this is basically gonna be like a half day in Colombo kind of a scene because that's as much time as I've got, and I also want to get back before it's too dark. So yeah, let's see how this day goes. Also, I have this weird feeling that my fuel gauge isn't working, so I'm gonna have to like stop at a mechanic and maybe get that checked out, or at least check my own fuel levels because if I have to tank up before tomorrow, then I need to do that today. Morning, dude. It's like my day three in Colombo, and I can't believe I've already been here for three days. I'm literally in Sri Lanka for ten days totally, and like three days have just gone in like logistics. I mean, I'm not even out of Colombo yet, but it is like eight in the morning right now, and I've decided to have an early start in my tuk tuk over here, and we're gonna make our way to Hikaduwa. Hopefully things are going to start getting better here on, and it's not as complicated as it's been so far. I have a hang of driving the tuk tuk. I know exactly where I need to go, so this has got to start getting better real soon. For now, I'm gonna hop in. I've done all of my morning checks, and gonna get going. Do things finally get better for me in Hikaduwa? We'll find out in next week's video. Don't forget to hit like on this video, comment on it, and share it with your friends. And do subscribe to my channel so you can stay in the know when a video goes out next week. Until then, this is Preeti signing off. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.